Good morning. I am driving, driving, driving. Woo! I got my energy drink. I really want coffee, but I'll have to wait till I get back to the property. I uh, I don't do well with coffee and road trips. That's a no from me. But uh, yeah, I got um, a video coming out tomorrow. I think you guys will be pumped. Uh, really, really pumped for this one. Uh, worked on a project, and I really like the way it's coming out. I'm going to still tweak it here and there, but uh, I think you guys are going to be pretty pumped with it. As soon as you see the thumbnail, you'll see. But um, I want to tell you, but I'll try not to. Uh, but I'll be uh, working on some more stuff. I'm going to try to... Uh, really hit this hard hit it hit it hard as I can get it um, move in ready uh, get it to where Danielle and I can be comfortable and we can enjoy it out there uh, like I talked about in one of my other videos uh, just comfortable enough I'm pretty sure it's coffee crackers I don't think it was at the end of my other video but um, comfortable enough to where we can relax um, and not have to work to relax, where we can, you know, just kick back. Uh, finally, can just take a shower out there inside and then, you know, go to the restroom inside and then lay on the couch, go to sleep, watch TV. Uh, clearly, not gonna be watching anything crazy on TV. Uh, my internet's not working. I do have a smart TV in there, but I think I can stream from my phone and stream it onto the TV so I can watch some YouTube or whatever on there. Um, if not, I have a DVD player and can, uh, you know, buy DVDs and whatnot. Uh, but it's going to be pretty crazy to be able to do that. And then uh, some of the other stuff that I'm working on is definitely... Uh, off the clock the side channel I am trying to hit that hard as well mainly for my mental state I guess uh, I I really enjoy doing all the stuff on the crockers and uh, you know building and being out in the woods and stuff but the way my brain works is if I focus too hard on that I'll go crazy. Um, it, it just isn't good. I, I've done that. I did that for the last two years. Uh, whenever I do something, um, there was a side by side just left alone right there. But uh, if I focus too much on one thing, I'll literally drive myself crazy. And I'm trying to get a good balance of doing stuff with Danielle at her house off the clock and doing stuff out of the property um, a lot of times it's just me just because Danielle's working crazy overtime right now so there's no way she'd be going back and forth but um, I have really been trying to do both and the reason why well, I have you know two reasons but one if I focus on just one thing I'll go crazy but if I do both um, I am on the road a lot, unfortunately, driving back and forth. It's an hour and a half. Most of you guys know that. But it keeps me on track. And I know that sounds weird. Like, if I have to drive. Like, this morning, I woke up at 6 o'clock. And I'm driving. And so, it just keeps me on track. If, if I don't have an exact thing to do, and I don't have, like, this timeline that I'm trying to accomplish, and, you know, I'm... I'm I would love to do daily vlogs on both vid on both channels, but there's no way, absolutely no way. That's just way too much. But I'm really hoping to uh, do as many vid videos as I can to keep me motivated and keep me on track. Uh, most of you guys know I have like this ADD type mindset that I can't control, so I'm trying to do what I can to keep it in check and 
it, it's it's a balance. It, it's a very difficult thing to do, and the only way I know how to kind of dial stuff in is to stay busy. And lucky enough, if I stay busy um, doing YouTube videos, it makes me money. Um, that that's this is my my career. This is how I you know make a living. I've been very fortunate enough to turn my life into revenue, which is very weird to think. Um, you know, people ask me, you know, they don't know me, they're like, so what do you do for a living? I'm like, I, I do videos on YouTube. They're like, cool, about what? My life. Um, I, yes, I build off-grid, but it's basically, I could do whatever I want, I could film whatever I want, I choose to do the off-grid stuff on the Crockers. It won't be like that forever, but um, I've been very fortunate enough that uh, I could turn my life into revenue, and I never thought that was possible. I used to always watch, you know, stuff like Jackass or, oh, it's got a reminder, doing coffee Crockers. That's another thing. I had a download an app on my phone that I put everything that I do or need to do or want to do in the day and then it pops up and I'm trying to like really really stick to stuff like that um but I used to watch tv shows like jackass stuff like that I'm like they like they have talent to an extent don't get me wrong um doing stupid stuff because yeah but I'm like man they're literally just living like a crazy life and they get paid for it that's crazy. And then, um, growing up, you know, I was definitely, like, into skateboarding and BMX, uh, you know, bike tricks and stuff. And, uh, you know, as a young kid, I wanted to be, like, a pro BMX rider. And then, as a kid, you dream stuff like that. And But I was never good enough uh, to do it. So, I was like, well, the other thing that I really, really love is music. How do I turn music into a career? Um, will I be able to do that? And I tried the band thing for a while, uh, for a few years, and got to tour, got to do a lot of really awesome stuff, and uh, just live my life to the fullest. And uh, that went as far as it could go, and then I was like smart enough to realize, like, all right, this isn't going to go anything past this, but I still want to work in the music industry. Uh, what what can I do? And that's when I started doing video work. I, I never even picked up a camera really. And I was just like, all right, I got to figure this out. And then made a, some video and I sent it to a, a famous band on Facebook. And they, they saw it and they basically hired me uh, on the spot to uh, be their video guy. And then I got to do that for a few years and tour with like famous bands and that was amazing. And then I got kind of got tired of, um, one, being on the road so much. It was awesome. Uh, I, I, I would never trade that life that I had for anything at that time. But it kind of got old. And then at the end of the day, I had a boss. Um, I did woodworking for a while as well for like four years or something. And that was the first time I was ever my own boss. Um, but it was very hard to build it up into something big big and so I started like trying to figure out in my head how do I turn wanting to do music how do I turn like the craziness of me wanting to be like a skateboarder or BMX you know kind of just living my life type thing um how do I turn the video work and doing music and woodworking all this stuff how do I turn all of my passions into one big thing that I can enjoy? YouTube, uh, my YouTube career was born. And I was like, all right, I'm actually very confident in my video skills. My music skills are terrible, but I have to do audio and I learned how to record music and now I know how to like mix music up to fit a certain timeline that I want. I can create music for my own videos if I want. I can, you know, do voiceovers or whatever it may be. I know how to do all that. Um, the woodworking, I learned how to do woodworking so I'm gonna build, um, you know, the skateboarding, BMX, like doing some crazy stuff, did shooting TV. Um, I'm hoping one day we can kind of get that going um, again because that was fun. But 
I turned all this stuff into what I do now, and it's crazy. Um, I, I again, I, I make a good, comfortable living being myself, and not a lot of people can say that. So I didn't want to just piss that away and not let it work out because I couldn't stay focused and stuff. So I know this video has been all over the place, but I. Uh, wanted to try to figure it all out so that's basically what I'm doing now is trying to stay super busy stay focused um, I listen to Steve-O I talk about this in other videos and stuff but Steve-O from Jackass his podcast and I listen to Joe Rogan and they both get people on there that are successful and they're always asking them questions and diving into their heads and how they became successful, what business moves they made, um, how they stayed focused. Um, a lot of their stories start with, hey, I had a rough upbringing. Um, I didn't have a lot of money. Um, you know, something bad happened to me. And I had an amazing childhood, probably one of the best childhoods you could have. Um, we weren't rich by any means, um, but I don't think we were dirt poor either. Um, I think we were just that middle class family that had the work ethic instilled in us from an early age and because both my parents worked and they worked hard and they they tried not to blow their money they tried to save they tried to do all this stuff and I watched my parents buy well wasn't alive at that time but they had a two bedroom one bathroom tiny house and then they built onto it and they turned it into, I think it's like six bedroom, three bathroom, like a, a nice house. Um, but they did it with their own hands. Literally my dad built it and uh, they worked hard for it. They saved their money. They, they had this work ethic and I'm trying to take what my parents taught me, what I taught myself, merge it and just live a good, successful life. And I'm very fortunate that people like you guys that are watching this um, find comfort in my videos, find the entertaining value, maybe find some teachable moments, whatever, I don't know. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm just very fortunate and very um, honored that you guys watch this and that you allow me to live this lifestyle. So. I want to do this for myself, but I also don't want to let you guys down. And at the end of the day, you know, you're always trying to make your parents proud. You're trying to uh, do things to make, you know, like for me, I want to make Danielle proud. Uh, you know, I have my name on the internet, the Crockers. It's the Crocker, you know, family name. Sometimes I probably didn't make it so proud out there, um, but I'm trying to make that name a proud name that can live on. And, uh, yeah, I'm just really trying. Oh, that's a coyote in the road. Uh, you guys might be able to see it right there in the side. Just took off running. You probably can't see it. But, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to do what I can to stay focused and stuff. So I'm really trying to hit this hard. So, uh, yeah, I know this video is everywhere. Just kind of my thoughts as I drive. But hope you guys have an awesome day. Hopefully this made sense for whatever reason. I don't even know why I'm talking about it. But, um truly appreciate you guys i'm gonna try to uh keep these videos rolling so if you haven't checked out uh crocker's off the clock go do that um that's more of like a daily vlog look into our personal lives outside of being out there in the woods and then uh clearly the crocker's is a lot more like the off-grid living and building and stuff and then here you are on this channel and then the podcast I'd absolutely love to get going, but that's kind of, that's just a really fun channel we just do whenever we want. So, uh, yeah, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. The sun's really coming up and blinding me, so I'll catch you guys on the next one. Appreciate you. Love you guys, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Peace.